is that orthopedic surgeon should think about nutrition of the patient. About 40% of orthopedic patients are malnourished. In general, about 60% of elderly patients are malnourished. The patients are usually malnourished before surgery, and the metabolic demands of the orthopedic patient usually increases after surgery. We need to look at certain parameters that can help us in understanding the nutritional status of the patient, such as the albumin should be more than three, which means good nutritional status of the patient. The body needs water, carbohydrates to provide the energy, fat to store the energy, minerals, vitamins, and proteins. Protein is an important part of the fabric of the body. The body runs on proteins. Proteins make the muscle and the connective tissues, the iron channels and the enzymes. The food is converted to energy. Carbohydrates provide energy. Fat stores the energy. The body breaks down the ingested food into molecules, which can be processed and assembled to make different types of proteins. The sequence of amino acids is controlled by the DNA, which allow making different proteins. However, there are some essential amino acids that the body can make, and these must be ingested. Therefore, adequate nutrition is critical. Total lymphocytic count should be more than 1,500. This indicates that the immune response of the patient is adequate. The hemoglobin level should be more than 10, and this will indicate adequate oxygenation of the tissues. Transferrin level should be more than 200, and this indicates the condition of the iron and hemoglobin. It deals with oxygenation of the tissues. These are the lab values that you will probably obtain in a patient that you suspect is malnourished. You need to think about nutrition of the patient. Up to 50% of patients with low values will have poor wound healing or infection. Elective surgery should be delayed or rescheduled until these values are improved by nutritional support. So what can alert the physician about the nutritional status of the patient? There are red flags which may indicate that the patient may be malnourished. History of weight loss, arm muscle circumference, measuring the mid-arm muscle circumference. You may also measure the triceps skin fold. Nutritional assessment and nutritional consult. Conservative measures play a major role in the treatment and in the prevention of arthritis. Weight loss of as little as 11 pounds is shown to decrease the risk of developing arthritis of the knees in females by approximately 50%. Also, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory medication, physiotherapy, education, and wellness activity are helpful. These conservative measures have strong evidence from the American Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons that can help arthritis of the knee. Another strong evidence is weight loss program, which is helpful in patients with symptomatic arthritis with BMI more than 25. A nutritional consult is important for these patients with arthritis or patients that will need total joint replacement. Think about nutritional consult. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.